Let's take a look at some aromatic hydrocarbons. These are unsaturated cyclical hydrocarbons. And uh, benzene, or C6, C6H6, is the focus of this area. So it looks a little something like this. Now, another way to write that would be like that, showing the double bonds. But the kicker is that sort of a different version of this could exist, where you have a double bond here, here, and here, and, you know, not there, not there, and not there. So it's just kind of turned a bit. So that would be another acceptable way. And, and since both of these essentially exist, uh, we can just draw it like that. So this benzene ring here covers both of these situations. So let's name some aromatic hydrocarbons. And there's kind of two ways you can do this, uh, whatever is easiest for you. One, using the benzene as the parent chain. So here's an example. Now, keep in mind, uh, we, we're only going to have three spots to put stuff in that spot there, and that spot there, and that spot there. We can't sort of start th sticking things there. It's just with the bonding, it's not going to work out. So those are three spots. So you say, well, it's a benzene. I'm going to call it that. Now, in terms of numbering it, there's probably multiple ways you could number it. Uh, this one that I found had the chloro in the five position. So that makes it a, a one, two, three, four, five. And then you've got uh, one comma three dibromo five chlorobenzene. And like I said, you probably could number this differently. You could have called maybe, you know, the chlorine, the one and the three and the five. Um, although your numbers probably get higher that way. So maybe in this example, you could have these as a three and the five or vice versa. It's, it's all kind of symmetrical. So, yeah. Uh, here's another example. This one has a methyl and an ethyl group. And so again, it's a benzene and uh, made this one a 1-ethyl-3-methyl. And again, probably I'd accept if you put a 3-ethyl-1-methyl and switch the numbers because they would be the same. So I'd accept multiple answers there. Uh, the second way of doing this would be to use benzene as the substituent group. So this thing and this thing are the same. It's called a phenyl group. You gotta be careful when you do this though. Uh, so here's an example. And again, you look at this one and you might say, well, maybe I could treat this as a benzene. Well, then I guess the question is, what is this group? What are you naming it? Because it's attached in the middle here, right? So you got some carbons going that way. You got some carbons going that way. So perhaps using, uh, you know, perhaps that maybe you should just name this chain here and then uh, say it's a phenyl group attached. So count your carbons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got a phenyl group on the two carbons, so a two phenyl heptane. Some properties of aromatic hydrocarbons. They're liquids at room temperature. They are nonpolar molecules and they're widely used in uh, metal cleaners. Reactions of aromatic hydrocarbons. So with all the double bonds, you're probably thinking that we can do some addition reactions and stick some stuff on. The problem is that once you break one of those double bonds inside the ring, then you kind of don't have benzene anymore. You've got what could be a, a cycloalkene. So, so they don't generally want to do addition. They want to just do substitution where you sub uh, uh, a hydrogen off and put something in its place. And here's a couple of examples. So you got chlorine going on. Cl2. So notice we put one chlorine on the ring, hydrogen came off, we got hydrochloric acid. Here's another one here where we get the NO3 group attaching. You make water. This is a nitro group. And here's one where you get a methyl group attaching and hydrochloric acid is formed. Notice on all three of our examples, they all started with an H just to say, you know, maybe you're thinking, well, I could have a chlorine go on there, but you wouldn't make methane. Methane. These would be your products. Here are some questions and you should be able to do these four. And in a moment, I will flash the answers up here so you can pause the video and write these out, draw them out, answer them. And here are all the answers. They kind of start like right there, unless you go back and look at those.